Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mic Check Podcast. I'm the host, T Word, aka the People's Champ. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk to you guys about just some recent concerns in the media uh, about a particular boxer, which kind of brought some additional thoughts to my mind about athletes in general. So the boxer we're going to talk about today is uh, Trevante Tank Davis, who's scheduled for a January 7th fight against Hector Luis Garcia. Unfortunately, um, Tank Davis was arrested on a um, assault charge. It's assault with uh, bodily harm, basically domestic violence. And he was uh, released on a thousand dollar bond. So apparently he's out. Uh, he's actually tweeting. I'm going to go ahead and put that information at the end of this video for you all to read over for yourself. He's explaining himself a um, bit of a conspiracy uh, perspective that he shares with the viewing audience. So I'm going to let you all read that for yourself. Uh, I'm not going to go over that too much. But when I started to think about the situation that Javante Davis has found himself in, it made me think just sitting back. I didn't want to report on this until a lot of information came out. So when you look at the media and whether it's um, proper media or mainstream media or new media, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> you're going to get different slants on things. And a lot of times when you have traditional media, they have to wait for specific stuff like police reports, uh, specific reporting that tells exactly what happened. Um, you know, maybe even a statement from a victim or witness or something to verify the facts before they publish this information. When you look at non-traditional media like social media um, outlets or just kind of independent vlogs and websites, they're just going to take whatever crumbs are laying around and start to put together and frame the story. This happened today with Javante Davis. The news broke last night, uh, December 27th, and everybody was up in arms about what's going on. There were rumors ranging from him um, assaulting his child's mother and his child to all kinds of other things. Uh, I'm not going to go deep into that. But there was a lot that was said without the actual facts. Um, based on his statement, he actually didn't do anything. He's confessing his innocence or professing his innocence. And, um, you know, he's going to get his day in court. But again, I got to thinking about how athletes end up in these situations. And the narrative that was painted against him was, here we go again, this guy keeps getting in trouble. And it made me think, how do athletes tend to seem to find themselves in these situations? And a big part of it is because we as fans and casual viewers from the outside looking in that have never been a professional athlete or whatever, we don't understand the process of maturity that they've taken. You as a regular functional adult uh, who doesn't live a celebrity life, you probably had different checkpoints in life that helped you mature at a certain rate that allowed you to grow up, right? Um, athletes aren't always afforded this because they're being shuffled and pushed and moved and shaken. And they don't always get those developmental check marks with the same checks and balances that we have as everyday people. So what you find is as adults, they tend to find themselves in more volatile situations because <clears throat> their antennas just don't go up about certain things. And it's not their fault. It's, it's nothing that they're really doing wrong. They're just not always given the tools early enough and they're not able to really develop those tools early enough. And then you find them in just really weird situations that just go against everything that they're working for. For example, Javante Davis has a lot on the line. Um, you think of athletes like uh, Ryan Leaf, you know, he had a lot of meltdowns and a lot of different issues going on. He recently talked on the Pivot podcast, but part of it is the ability to mature at a normal rate. When you're a successful athlete, a lot of things are laid at your path and you're not being held to the fire to grow up at a normal tempo, a normal speed that your peers are. So you're experiencing a different type of pressure and sometimes you can either make bad decisions or simply crumble under the pressure, which eventually leads to bad decisions, drug abuse, or just lashing out. Then you add in contact sport athletes with these concussive blows that they receive football players, sometimes um, soccer players and then boxers, you know, MMA fighters that are doing this stuff early in life these concussive blows can really impact the way that your brain develops and you can find yourself in some really bad situations so i think sometimes the media doesn't really talk about that aspect of it they just say well this guy's got all that money he should know better money doesn't make you smarter money doesn't make you more attractive naturally you got to pay for it and money you know there's some work involved and money doesn't naturally make you good at business either sometimes you have to develop those skills and when you have money 
you're sharpening those knives a little bit less because you could just pay for so much to get done. So when I think about and I see stories with athletes that get into sticky situations, I always wonder what got them to that point, not just roast them for being at that point. And I always like to make sure the facts come out. So before you um, before you make a decision on how you feel about this particular situation and any others, think about what may have led to that moment and think about the path that you took to developing your maturity and the path that these athletes may have taken, especially if they didn't necessarily come from very stable household, households where there's one person or two people. Just think about that, okay? I would love to get your comments. This has been T-Word for the Mike Chick Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to get your feedback. Until the next time, we're out of here. Peace.